Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this Laravel um, tutorial series. And this is the sixth part or part six of our tutorial series. And in the previous video, we talked about blade templates. And for today's video, we're going to discuss about how to compile assets in our Laravel project. But first, let us try to pass data as an array of values. So last time we uh, passed parameter as array. But what if you try to pass data or an array of data inside an array? So we'll try to do that here in this video and let's go ahead and instead of passing only the title, we'll just pass another array of data here. So services and then we're going to add, we're going to add regular array here for our services. So number one will be web design. Second one is programming. Third will be SEO. Alright, so since we're passing this services inside the data array, so we should be able to access that in our services.blade.php file. And in order for us to do that, we need to check if there is, uh, if the services array contains something so we could add a logic here so if count and then the services is greater than zero and below here let's try to add the um and if there you go and of course, we need to iterate our services array if it is not empty. So add for each, for each, and then the services as service. And we need to add also the end of our for each. And of course, inside uh, inside this for each, we need to like if we need to add the li for our service. Something like that. And then we need to get the servers itself. And we need to add the UL for our or inside this if statement. So UL here. Save. And let's try to preview our page. This is the home page of our application and if you try to go to uh, services, we can see here we have the data coming from our um, pages controller and we're passing the data uh, including the web design, programming, and SEO. Now let's talk about compiling or how to compile assets in our Laravel project. So before we proceed, let's download first the Node.js. So if your Windows uh, user or Mac OS X uh, user so there's available installer for you and you can have the 32-bit 64-bit um, options but we'll just try to install it by using this win uh, Windows installer and install it in our uh, local machine so after downloading, we can just install it right away, open up the installation uh, package and then try to click on next and then accept the terms and the license agreement. So next and then the installation path and then next and then make sure to enable all these options here. The Node.js runtime, the NPM package manager, uh, online documentation shortcuts and then add to our environment path and then next and there's an option here to automatically install the necessary tools and there's a note that this will also install the chocolatey and the script will pop up in a new window after installation process so to save us from trouble so let's just enable this and then next and install and then we'll just wait for a few seconds to enable the Node.js installation to complete. And then after installation, we we should be able to 
like for example include bootstrap in our project to include other dependencies for our project and so on and now that the installation is complete so let's go back to our project here we are we can try to open up our powershell window and then let's try to uh, see the version of our node.js so we have the v, uh, version 12.13.1 and also we can see the version for our npm which is also 6.12.1 so by this time we can already include our bootstrap installation for our project now we just want to run the command composer require laravel and then slash ui and then we're just gonna wait for a few seconds to allow the installation to complete and we should be able to incorporate the necessary libraries for our laravel ui so as you can see this will also install the bootstrap in our laravel project so we can uh, already use that if we have a successful installation for our Laravel UI and now that the installation for our Laravel UI has been completed so we need to run also or to include also the dependencies for our oath so this will include the login and register view so PHP artisan and then UI views as dash dash oath and this will install the login register and after that we need to run the command npm install to compile the css and other dependencies of our project so we should be able to see the login the register and um, other uh, views included for our ui and uh, view oauth or oath dependencies so i'll try to show you that um, after this installation so we're just going to wait for a few seconds for it to complete and then we should be able to see the changes in our browser by the way if you can see here at the top uh, there's a prompt here that the layout app blade.php view already exists so do you want to replace it so in my case i have set or i have um, set it to n or no but you can try to accept it or to replace the existing layout of our app.blade.php so you can try to answer yes for that and then the layout of our project will be changed according to this update and this uh, layout will, will also include the oath the login and then re the register as uh, I've mentioned before and as you can see here I have here the layout uh, view already exists and do you want to replace it and I just answered why or yes for that so I just want to replace the existing app that blade that page that we have uh, been working on in the previous tutorial and after that you need to run also the command npm run dev to compile all the necessary assets that we have so here we have the app.css and app.js and after running this command we should be able to see the changes of our project so i'm going to show you uh, the project now and what it looks like so this is our project should look right now and as you can see we have here the css folder that contains the app.css or generated app.css that contains all uh, twitter bootstrap styles necessary to apply to our project and we also have the js file or js directory with the app.js um, file as you can see with all the scripts needed for our project so this is the compiled versions of all the javascripts or scripts for our project and as you can see here the resources we have here the app.js and the bootstrap.js and as i've mentioned before we also included the oath files so it should be the login that uh, login blade.php register blade.php and verify that play uh, verify that blade.php and of course we also have this 
files for our passwords so confirm email and reset and now let's try to preview our code in our browser so this is the home page of our project right now and if you try to go to about section so we can still see the about us and then this is the about page uh, text and of course we can also see the services with all the services included the web design programming and SEO so these are the um, pages that we have added the login and then register if you try to click on that so as you can see we have here the ready made uh, login form and the same thing with our register so I think that's it for this tutorial and in the next video we're going to talk about models and database migrations. So see you in the next video. Thanks.